Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome back to the channel. So we're here with another server tour. This is the first server tour of our 2024 season of Mad Aaron's Wasteland, and the players have been hard at work. We're going to see some of their amazing rovers, base constructions, and all sorts of things in between. Now, it's important to remember that this is a rover-only server with jetpacks turned off, so this offers a completely different challenge to players and if you're interested in getting stuck in with this server there's a link down in the discord in the description of this video so jump on the discord find out if it's for you and then perhaps we'll see you on the server so this is the first base this is nod's base and there's a really cool mixture of grids here as well as different play styles so we've got some orc like rovers over here where well, this one's got like a rib cage coming out the side really fitting into that wasteland vibe complete with a turret up there at the top with some gatling guns and then you've got the artillery cutters and rocket launchers towards the front. It's got them staggered sort of wheels designed to keep it moving the best it can without them wheels and suspension being damaged. But there is also other sort of potato. I mean, is that a bit of an insult calling these potato shape? They're like a, a chunky nugget shaped rover with these staggered wheels. We've seen these in past seasons and they are quite effective. They've got bumpers all around them to help them when they get rammed. You can see that the missiles are located on the front there. We've got the drill rig up in this section. Another plunger miner design. We're going to see quite a few of them today. This one is equipped with solar panels at the back so it can stay charged up on the go. Now what's really nice around the Nod's base is they have blocked off this whole area and this plateau is actually quite popular another faction had it in a previous season and if you do block this entrance up it makes it very hard to climb the cliffs walls on either side so this little blocked wall over here has some turrets has some defenses and more importantly it has a big door that is reinforced across the back with some airtight hangers so very nice indeed Going around this side we've got some even chunkier rovers this nice big six wheel design six wheels seems to be quite popular as well this time and you'll notice that there's lots of access ways on the side here and firing ports so people can come out because they've got to be able to maintain and fix these rovers up on the go so if a wheel comes down then there's an access hatch down at the back here so you'll see a little welder man jump out the side access the, the suspension and weld it up on the go it's, it's absolutely crazy the things that happen on this server over here it looks like we've got a 3d printer of some kind so this is a rover printer where's the printing arm so you can pull things or push things out of it and then we've got a selection of different rovers these almost look like an artillery system that i've seen in real life they've got a railgun on the back artillery cannons a cool and very unique design to this faction then we've got these little ball rovers that we saw in a previous event and these were quite fast very agile and able to keep up with the convoy and they could take a lot of damage as well Coming over here, there's another chunkier transport type rover that looks like it could have been a welder or something. It's got a little arm built into the side of it, but that is the Nod base. And finally, they do have this big golden rover with big wheels and small wheels on the inside. So these guys have got some quite competitive rover base grids, but that's not it. Over on the roof, we have this arena-like area, and these are little yellow submarines very cool indeed and all the weapons are staggered out in the, the front there with a complete with a turret on top these were very effective they laid down a lot of fire in the event on the previous convoy mission but let's continue on now our next stop is the ANA base now the ANA base created by Alice here has this really cool bridge across it now the reason it's got this bridge is because it's been built up on this plateau and the other ways of accessing it require jumping but having this bridge across allows you to get smaller rovers in and out but at the same time if Alice is under attack they can blow the bridge up and stop anyone from coming across now let's have a look at the vehicles that are at ANA's disposal so first up we have ourselves this small drill sort of rover the drill is on a rotor that can be lifted up and down so it's great for drilling into the side of hillsides and collecting ore we've obviously got this a and a sort of cargo truck here so this is just a four-wheeled truck you've got these access steps that lead up the sides that i really like the look of i also like the look of these little vents that have been put on the top here so they look like they fold down mesh windows we've got truck cabs on the inside there these are just really highly detailed builds we've got little containers on the side barrels weapons racks everything that you need to really survive the wasteland complete with the ANA logo down there on the mud flaps 
Now over here we have the ANA sort of IFV type vehicle. Now we saw this show up in the event, it's got a very cool turret design, so it's got this twin linked auto cannon or artillery turret up at the front, it's got missile launchers as well as a remote control turret there on the roof, and it's just bristling with really nice thought out features throughout the design, completed with these little mesh side skirts, and at the back we have entrance into the troop compartment. So we've got storage for different troops weapons, we've got four seats, ammo racks, this is everything you need to keep a, a few guys on the go, complete with that survival kit. You can have them respawning on an objective and continuously hitting it, so a really nice, well-thought-out design. Now, the rest of the base is a little bit exposed, but I'm sure a a will develop this further. Now, coming over here, we have the two larger rovers. We have a very just straightforward plunge miner over there, like we've seen before, and then we've got a six-wheeled rover here as well complete with little catwalks so you can step out and see what's going on as you're traveling across the wasteland really nice base here a and a let's continue on now the next faction we're looking at is jwa or the jawa faction so you can see they have a giant sand crawler under works look at this bridge area i really like the look of that cockpit up there it also looks like it's getting fitted out with railgun artillery turrets and missile launchers this is a really cool and unusual rover, but to top that, this is actually going to be a mobile base. So inside here, there is production resources, there's access ways and catwalks all around here, and there's even this massive armoured cube that I believe there is cargo stored inside here. So this is protection. Now coming over here, they've of course got their miners, they've got their little base planted here, and it looks to be some sort of orc tank over here as well. There's a little transport truck and a cool looking off-road jeep. I really quite like the look of that. Oh, it's a Cherokee jeep. Very nice indeed. Let's continue on. Now, the next location that we've headed to is the location of TNT. And TNT have been hard at work working on this really cool looking mobile rover that they're calling the Sand Shark. And you can see why it looks like it's got a shark fin up at the top. Now this rover is bristling with features. It's got two pads on either side for rovers and to lift them rovers up there you can see it's got this crane up there. Very unusual but it's really getting this mad sort of wasteland vibe that I really like. So you can see you've got one of them rovers there on the back. And if we just wrap ourselves once again around the front, you can see that there's access through various different sealed airlocks and they take you into the matrix of corridors and tunnels that is all protected. This way leads up towards the bridge and you can see the bridge area. Well, this is not the bridge area. This is the canteen. So it's a fully decked out interior. Really nice to see. And then we've got ourselves in what I believe the bridge segment is just here. So this is a really cool design, really nice and fitting, and it's nice to see more mobile bases. You're going to see quite a few mobile bases through this tour. Over here, we have the Statue of Liberty's head that was cut off one of our monuments. So very interesting. They wheeled it up and stole it away. They had a lot of fun in the early game, these guys stealing things and destroying monuments, as well as trying to understand just how our server works. You can see they've been working on a giant plunge miner over here as well. There's some little transport vehicles connected and docked up to their sort of construction yard. But still, really nice to see a new faction thriving on the server. Now, the next rover that you see in front of you is EDT's mobile base. EDT's mobile base here is this really cool... It's got like a steampunk S vibe with everything exposed on the top there. That's not great for PvP survivability, but it's got everything in this really cool, sort of cool and unique manner. So down towards the back here, there is the drill pit that you can see is extending over the side and they've made use of some of the npcs in here that are overlooking the pit and it looks like they've perhaps left some projectors and welders on we'll have to sort them out for that but you can see inside here they've got some more npcs and they've probably just completed this edt desert fury vehicle that looks like a little bit of an apc there's some smaller bikes and little vehicles to get around here but this is just another cool unique design i'm not too sure if there's a solo faction or there's one of two people in it well there's a lot here a lot has been constructed in a short period of time and that's going to be something you notice throughout this video as well but the players haven't had a super long time to build this stuff but what they've come up with in that time is really quite good now the next faction we're taking a look at is how and how have been on and off the server for for years now they've really been enjoying what we have to offer sometimes they disappear sometimes they come back at solos but they're always loitering in the wings for when a season comes around that they fancy play it so this one they have got themselves together this giant sort of carrier it almost reminds me of like an aircraft carrier where they built on top of the deck i'm not too sure if that's the idea but you can see there's lots of storage there's areas for rovers there's turrets there's a mobile turret system on the top there and there's access down here into the lower 
hull area as well complete with ramps and docking stations to this forward part there's also a drill rig that's been very compactly designed you can see very compact sort of <laughs> pistons and hinges all very close together there so they need to be very careful with that but they're pretty reliable on keeping these things safe so that's their little drill rig coming across here this is their bridge system so they've got pipes that connect up to these various different towers what's inside these towers should we have a quick look so it's just just like a scaffolding tower at the moment you can see that tower then reaches over to this area now this area looks like it's going to be some sort of fortification or their main hub they've got connection point towards the bottom it's still under construction so it'll be nice when we do come back and have a look at this place to see just how far it's come along now our next stop is nbs and nbs have decided to go with one of the mobile rovers this is the first season of mad Aaron that we've kind of allowed mobile rovers to come back again as we originally kind of discouraged players from doing them because it's kind of keeping all of your eggs in one basket and if you're attacked while you're roaming around in one of these you're just a massive target with plenty of ore and resources on you and there's a lot of bandits out there that would really like to take advantage of this so this nbs rover here you can see at the back it's got their smaller variant that they can send out on missions and events and if we have a quick enter inside you can see that there's a ramp system designed here so they can drive all the way through up at the front we've got that crusader tank that we've seen in some of the events it's a really nice unique design this with wheels extending out from the side and a rotatable artillery turret over here there's a little bit of a gun truck making use of that new truck cabin cockpit very cool indeed and if we drop underneath you'll see there is a large clearance area so there could be work done under here and protect protected from the rover its actual self now coming over here you've got the drill rig that has been mounted to the sides it looks like the drills have been detached at the moment i'm not too sure why maybe they needed resources or they had them snap off but it looks like it was attached at some point and doing some drilling into the area but this mbs rover is really quite nice it needs a little bit more firepower maybe a, a rotor turret or something attached to the top but that's what they might have installed for it in this area up here by the look of it it looks like they might do because they've got a rotor attached there so maybe they've just got a big turret planned to stick on the top there it's going to be very exciting to see what they do with it now our next stop is the rab base and the rab base doesn't disappoint this is another really tasty exciting one it's got this interesting sort of plateau design that looks like it's almost a way of launching out smaller rovers at speed and i think that's exactly what it is so in here we've got various different hangars with the rab rovers inside them so you can see that they're located in these quick launch sort of hangar bays where they can work on them repair them and store them on multiple floors isn't this really cool and you can see there's like a little window area into their production oh no this is a massive engine room that's cool isn't it yeah rab makes some really funky and cool bases so inside their engine bay storage is all that located down there and then coming up here on this platform we have rab's smaller large rover i think the best way of describing it it was still very fast and agile and had a lot of tasty firepower at the front and i really like this rab color scheme of this sort of tan white and red that we've seen for a few seasons now we also saw this little pursuit rover as well it's got these cool little mud guards going around the top this rotary turret and it actually has an interior inside here complete with a weapon rack and cryo storage just in case you need to bring anyone along with you now in the larger caliber of rovers this is their larger rab rover you can see how it's been reinforced with the blast door blocks just in case it happens to have a collision with something it does happen especially when comrade is driving the rotor head rovers he he does love to accidentally get into collisions when he <laughs> runs out of control. Coming onto the top deck here, you can see that we have got one of them large artillery turrets. And there's various different access points that's super important when there's no jetpack. Because as you're moving around the deck, you need to be able to get in and out. Now, another cool feature of this one, this is actually armed with welders behind the wheels. So this will keep the wheels intact for longer. And if your wheels are intact in rover combat for longer than the enemy, you are going to win the battle. But let's continue on. Now, our next stop is now our next stop is gmc gmc is another solo faction and they're working very hard to get this base up and operating so inside here we've got ourselves this really cool hangar we've got me i've decided to teleport myself in here so we've got these light assault rover type buggies we've got a cargo truck over in this area and a little armored vehicle here in this section complete with like a very tasty looking bull bar and turret on the top looks like it's got some sort of fuel tank on the back to survive the wasteland very post-apocalyptic now this is the facility itself it's following the arc sort of goal scheme as the black and orange as we've seen before there's like a little docking or storage hangar down here below 
and over on this side we have their larger rover that is actually i believe going undergoing repairs at the moment from the previous convoy battle it received quite a bit of damage as it collided head first with one of the road to heads rovers damaging it quite critically now gmc are actually online at the moment and i think they're just returning back from doing a mining run so there's gmc coming back and it looks like they reverse up these little ramps to dock themselves or, or put some extra pressure on i don't think it doesn't know they don't know we're watching but there we go they've connected up and they should be able to transfer their supplies through nice work there gmc it's really nice to see a solo base taking shape i can't wait to revisit and see what you've got next time let's continue on now our last stop this is another solo player indoorsman and they've just started construction of their base but what i really do like is they've got a rover <laughs> that's a sandwich so I thought I'd just show you that quickly as we go in past here. So yeah, nice sandwich rover. When I saw this intercept some of the, the wasteland scavengers, it was uh, it was quite amusing. They've got this big sort of grinding ship here for salvaging some of the wreckage that they found out in the waste. But there's still early days for them. They've still got a lot of construction. It looks like they're trying to set up a hangar there. But anyway, I'd like to wrap that up there. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And if you've enjoyed this server tour, hit that like button so more members of this community can see what's happening on our server. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.